another class of English and uh, today we're going to talk about salaries, about money and wages and uh, I think that today's class is going to be interesting so please come and um, discuss these matters with us. Now while well, students are coming I have a few seconds to renew my materials hope that there, today there will be many students at the class so let's wait for them to come Hello, Oksana. Hi, Michael. How are you? How was your day? What have you been doing today? I'm fine. And you? Fine, thank you. Uh, it was an unusual day uh, because it's uh, spring and uh, the skies are really b blue and uh, the weather is so favoring the mood. <laughs> it is very nice. Uh, outdoors mm -hmm. today. What about Kiyu? How's the weather? Okay, uh, today it's okay. Uh, Sunshine, but uh, we have uh, uh, forecast uh, like uh, rain uh, for for evening. But I think it's the, uh, the, uh, it's uh, was wrong. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, the weather is going to be fine. I guess. You Good evening. Good you have. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. Thanks. Hello, Yevgeny. How was your day? What have you been doing today? Uh, what have you been up to? Hello, I uh, have been to Invoke today. I understand. So you have been busy a little bit, right? Yeah. Okay. Today we are going to talk about money matters, salaries, wages, so athlete salaries. This is our today's topic. But before that, let's try to have some tra practice with our small talk conversations here is the link for you to copy okay Oksana hello how are you how was your day I have fun thank you how are the children how are they are they okay yeah they are okay <laughs> that's great good so please uh, click on the link and open the file uh, here is the conversation practice for you we are going to listen and uh, try to copy the intonation and practice our pronunciation. Are you ready to listen? Yeah. Yes. You look really nice today. Thank you. I just got this outfit the other day. Really? Where did you get it? I got it from Macy's. It's really nice. Thanks again. You look nice today too. Thank you. I just got these shoes today. Really? What kind of shoes are they? These are called All-Star Chuck Taylors. I really like those. How much did they cost? They were about $40. I think I'm going to go buy myself a pair. Good. Let's try to copy the intonation of this conversation. Okay. Oksana and Yuri, you're welcome. You look really nice today. Thank you. I just got this uh, outfit the other day. Really? Where did you get it? I got it from uh, Macy's. It's really nice. It's really nice. Uh, thanks again. 
Uh, you look nice today. Thank you. I just got these shoes today. Really? What kind of shoes are they? These are called old Star Trek tailors. I really like those. And uh, how much did they cost? They were about forty dollars. I think I'm going to go buy myself a pair. Yes, well done. Good. Another conversation. I absolutely love what you're wearing today. You do? I just bought this outfit a couple days ago. Seriously, it looks really nice on you. Where did you buy it from? I bought it from the Macy's at the Santa Anita Mall. I really like that outfit. Thanks. I think you look nice today, too. Thank you. I just bought these new shoes earlier today. Those are nice. What are they? These are some Chucks. Those are great. How much were they? I got them for 40 I think I might go and find me my own pair of Chucks. Well, then let's try to uh, practice this conversation. And we've got one more student. Dmitry, hello. How are you? Do you hear us? Hello. Yes, I hear you. Thank you. OK. Uh, so uh, here is the link for you to click on and open. Uh, small talk practice. Mm -hmm. Get ready with it. Good. Mm -hmm. okay. So, Oksana and uh, Evgeny, you're welcome. I absolutely love. Uh, what you are wearing today. And me, yeah? Yes, yes, Oksana, you're welcome. Mm -hmm. uh, you do? I just bought this outfit a couple days ago. Seriously? It looks uh, really nice on you. Uh, where did you buy it from? I bought it from the Macy's at the Santa Anita Mall. I really like that outfit. Thanks. I think you look nice today, too. Thank you. I just bought uh, these new shoes earlier today. And they are so nice. What are they? Uh, there are uh, some chucks. These are some chucks. Uh, these are some chucks. Those are great. Great. How much were they? Uh, I got them for 40. I think I might go and find me my own pair of chucks. Yes, well done. Good of you. Another conversation, number three. I think that you look very cute today. Is that right? This is a brand new outfit. What store did you get it from? I went to Macy's and picked it out. I love your outfit right now. Well, I think you look nice today, too. Thanks. I found these new shoes earlier at the store. I think that those are some really nice shoes. What kind are they? These are Chucks. Your shoes look really nice. How much did you get them for? They only cost me about forty dollars. I'm going to get a pair for myself. Yes, well done. Uh, and one more student, uh, Mary or Boris, who is with us today? Mary. Mary, good of you. Nice to hear from you again. Uh, so, Mary and uh, Dmitry, you're yeah, welcome to practice this conversation. Uh, I think that you look very cute today. Is that right? This is a brand new outfit. What store uh, did you get it from? I went to Masses and picked it out. I, lo I love your outfit right now. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, I think uh, you look nice today too. Thanks. I found those new shoes early at the store. I think that those uh, are some really nice shoes. What kind are they? There are uh, chucks. These are chucks. There, there are chucks. These are, yes, chucks. Chucks. Mm -hmm. Your shoes are really nice. How much did you get them for? They only cost my about forty dollars. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go get a pair for myself. Yes, good idea. So uh, we have a practice small talk, and now a question to you. Uh, <coughs> how much money do you think you spend every week, Oksana? Mm -hmm. The given one population, how much money do you think from Tiger Woods? Yeah? Yes, but before, I'd like to compare, and I'm asking about you. So uh, please compare your 
sum of money and uh, later on we'll try to find out what he spends. Good? So I'm asking a question about you. So how much money do you spend per week? Per week? Approximately, nearly, do you remember? Um, I don't know. Huh? 100 grivnias, 200 grivnias, 3 or more? Uh, in rubble. I think maybe um, uh, for food, for, for meal or food, I, I don't uh, know how it's spelled. For you, for you, for you. Um, yeah, for, for meal or for food, food or meal. Um, uh, for food, uh, in my family, we spent um, uh, 3,000 per week. 3,000 rubles. Am I right? Yes, yes. Uh, Mike, what about you? Uh, sometimes I spend zero mm -hmm. <laughs> because I Economic. don't go to 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 shop to the shops. Yes. Mm -hmm. You can spare some money, yes, and it is good. Good, uh, Dmitry, what about you? Excuse me, but I missed your question, so I don't okay. know what to say about. For what I yes. spend? How, how much money do you spend per week? For for, for what purposes? Different purposes for yourself, for food, uh, for uh, stuffs of different kind, everything that you need per week. Mm, I think uh, I need uh, not less than five hundred uh, grivnas for a week to okay. live somehow, <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> to yeah, eat, to, to for transport. For, for my family and so on. I understand. Yuri, what about you? My mother maybe spent. That's why I'm not on a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Okay, I understand. I, I don't uh, know what is the sum. So you're a lucky person, I guess. <laughs> not to know the expenses that uh, take place, right? Good. Uh, Evgeny, what about you? I spent uh, about 400 grivnas. Uh, every week. Every week. Mary, what can no. you say? For for meal, I spent two hundred grivnas. Two hundred grivnas. Yes. So now uh, open the handout, and uh, uh, the first question: How much money do you think uh, Tiger Woods earns each year? So he's an athlete, right? Maybe he um six million. Six million dollars, right? Yuri, you are cheating <laughs> like <Okay>. usual. <laughs> Try to guess. Okay. I, I think more. Maybe more. Yes, mm -hmm. I think it's maybe any of the fifty million, something like that. Okay, okay. Should athletes earn more money than doctors? Mary, what's your point of view? What do you think? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, I uh, think it's uh, uh, depend uh, how depends. great it it depends uh, how great each sportsman. How great the the sportsman is. Yes. Yeah. Okay, uh, you can you do agree with Mary? Uh, I don't agree with, <laughs> with Mary because it not depends. Uh, doesn't depend. Uh, uh, it's more uh, close with the, uh, how popular this person and uh, which. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, how it looks like. Do you agree with Michael? What's your yeah. point of view? Yes. Yeah. You do. Okay. Good. The next question: <clears throat> uh, Do most professionals, uh, professional athletes, give back to their communities? Well, give back, mm -hmm. support, or give money. For for whom is this question? Well, uh, for Mary. Oh, I, uh, I don't understand the question. Mm -hmm. The most professional athletes give back to their communities. So, do they support uh, their communities in this way? I think yes, because it's a popular action. So, uh, I think many um, very popular <laughs> sportsmen uh, give back money. 
to their communities. Okay, in this case, good. What is more important to athletes, money or fame? Dmitry, what's your point of view? So I think uh, both of them are important. <laughs> uh, both at the are beginning, important. I think fame is more important, but then uh, after the career goes uh, higher and higher, money is also important for them. Yes. For the development and uh, I think for the good life. <laughs> I agree with you completely. Good. Now, preparing vocabulary task. Match the words on the left with the meanings on the right. We've got the words and have to find their definitions. The first word is salary. Do you know the synonym or try to guess the definition? To earn, to earn from work. Yes. Let's try to, to, to guess the meaning. Well, what is salary? You to earn from work. The amount of money earned each year. It is salary. The amount of money earned each year. Right? Uh, Evgeny, do you agree? Mm, yes, I agree. Okay. Thank you. Sponsorship. Mary, what is sponsorship? It's something who give money. But yes. I can... Money in exchange for promoting a product or service. Yes. Right? It is sponsorship. Appearance fee. Michael, you are welcome number three. Appearance fee. What's appearance fee? Number three. Actually, it is money celebrities earn for showing up to an event. <laughs> Appearance fee. When they appear in public and uh, they are paid for uh, being in public. Right? Did you know this word, Michael? This word combination before? Now Michael is absent. Right? He, he is not here. Good. And <clears throat> another question. Celebrities. Yuri, you are welcome. Celebrities. Uh... Famous people. Famous people. Fame, Evgeny. Fame. Uh. Do you know the translation or the definition? Try to guess. Choose one. Uh, to earn from work. Fame, fame. What is fame? Do you know the translation? Yes. Yes, yes. Известность. Okay. So the state of being well known. It is A. Right? Uh, number six, Mary, you're welcome. Cannot afford. What's the meaning of this word combination? Cannot afford. Cannot afford. It is six. Uh, do not have note. <laughs> do not have enough money. Do not have enough money. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. You're right. Next one, uh, Evgeny, you're welcome. Bring home. Number seven. Maybe E. E to earn from, from work, right? Bring home, to earn from work. E. Good of you, well done. Next one, uh, Yuri. Uh, give back, give away. Get away. It is 8. 8C. 8F. To show thankfulness by offering support to others. Give back. To show thankfulness by offering support to others. Next one, 9. Donate it. Mary? I don't know what is mean. Donate it. Gave away. Number 9, yes. Who can guess? Maybe it's C. Gave away. Yes. Yes. It to sponsor. Is. To donate. donate. To sponsor. Yes. Something like that. Charity. Next one. Yuri. Charity. Number 10. To give uh, money something. Somebody. Kidness. The giving of time. The giving of time. The giving of time. The money. Kindness. The giving of time or support. To or support to those in need. And the last one, Oksana. Headline news, a story what is popular in the media. 
Yes, exactly. You're right. Uh, what different difference between do, uh, donut, donut it and charity? Donate it's a verb. To spend money on charity. And charity is a noun. So it is the money spent on charity. Do you understand it? No. Okay. No? <laughs> so donate. At, uh, this is a verb. What to do? Okay. To donate. Mm -hmm. To donate what? Money. Mm -hmm. Yes? And charity is a noun. So mm -hmm. we donate to a charity. To charity. Charity is a noun. It's a sum of money that is given uh, to, in purpose of uh, something. Okay. Well, uh, Dmitry, how do you understand these two words? Yeah. Donate and charity. Do you understand these two words? How do you understand them? What does it mean mm. to donate? Donate is uh, the action or verb. So what what to do with the money? Okay. Donate, give, give it to somebody. And charity is uh, the general noun which shows the um, general <laughs> meaning of providing money to somebody, not for some service or for some product, but for... <laughs> because of kindness. Yes, yes, because yes, of because being kind. Yes, exactly. That's what I wanted to hear. You're right. Thank you. Gita, you uh, try to remember these words uh, that we are learning today. And uh, let's read the text. Athlete uh, salaries. How much is too much? Uh, you're, you're welcome to read. In, two, so in 2009, Tiger Woods became the first billion dollar man in sport. This day, professional athletes earn money without even picking up a golf club or hockey stick. Much of their earnings, earnings are from sponsorship bills of appearance fees. Tiger Woods' personal life fell apart one year after he broke the billion dollar record. Like many okay. celebrities, he learned the hard way the money can't buy your love. Do your favorite efforts love the fame more than the game? Some fans can't afford to pay, afford. Afford. Afford, uh, to pay for tickets to their favorite sporting events. If the asset salaries work hard in half, could the effort to buy tickets. The highest paid American baseball players bring home over $20 million per year. How much does the average American doctor make? Most professional assets give back to their communities in some shape or form. In 2010, Vancouver Canuck hockey stars Daniel and Henrik Sedin donated um, $1.5 million to a Canadian children's hospital. The donation equaled about 10% of the Queen's annual earnings. Annual earnings. Why didn't, why didn't the effect of charity make the world headline news? Headline news, okay. Do you understand the text? Yes. Okay. And uh, now question number one. What record did Tiger Woods achieve in 2009? Yevgeny? Do you remember it from the text? Mm. Try to remember. Mm. Maybe for the okay. game. Yeah, 2009. Mm -hmm. Who knows? Who can help me? He became uh, the first billion dollar. Yes, exactly. You're right. Uh, he became the first billion dollar man in sports in uh, 2009, exactly. Uh, Yuri, you're welcome. Question number two. Besides playing sports, how do professional athletes earn money? Good. Earn money. How do they earn money? What are the other sources of getting money for professionals, for professional athletes? Do you know? From the text, judging from the Maybe text. Maybe they become uh, doctors. <laughs> <laughs> Good guess. No, not exactly. Well, Oksana, can you help? Uh, from sponsorship and uh, appearance. Yes. In public, right? In public. Professional athletes also earn money through sponsorship deals and appearance fees. Yeah, right. Question number three, Mary, you're welcome. Uh, how do athletic salaries uh, affect funds? Uh, one second. 
uh, it depends how uh, funds low athletic. Yes, athletes service drive the prices of tickets up for sporting events. Yes. Some fans cannot afford the tickets. So this is the, the correct answer, right? Uh, question number four, Oksana, you're welcome. What does we say about uh, baseball players? Mm. It say that baseball American baseball players bring home over twenty million dollars per year. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Question number five, uh, Michael. You're yeah, welcome. Uh, number five. Yes. Describe uh, the. The coach Charity believes it's important. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm sorry. Uh, describe the uh, charitable donation made by uh, the Serbian twins. twins. Okay. Uh, uh, what How is the charitable? Yes. How much did they donate? Do you remember from the text? How much money did they pay to uh, $1.5 million. $1.5 million, exactly. That's the, the number, you're yeah, right. And that's, now let's remember the active vocabulary from the text. Uh, try to find the definitions or give the synonyms to the words that are in bold. So, sponsorship. Mary, what is it? Sponsorship. How do you understand this word? Sponsorship? It's money. Mm. Uh, expensive for promoted in producing service. Yes. Uh, okay. Appearance fees. What is it? You do you remember from the text? <coughs> Appearance fees. So this is also the money, right? Yes. Paid for whom? Money paid for celebrity. <laughs> for celebrity for what? For showing up. For showing up to an event. In public, for showing up in public, right? Uh, celebrities, Dmitry. What's famous the meaning people. of this word? Fa famous people, famous sportsmen, and other singers, and so yes. on. Well done, good. Fame. What's the meaning of this word? Fame, Mary. It's uh, uh, something. Something. Uh, somebody. Uh, who, who know everybody? Being popular. Yes. Being popular with the public and uh, uh, when people love this person, it's really fame. Okay. Cannot afford to pay, for example. Cannot afford. What's the meaning of this word combination? Cannot afford. M Michael, you're welcome. Are you there? Yeah, you, you, uh, Aksana, you need to focus on Aksana. Yes, Aksana, you're welcome. Cannot afford. What's the meaning of this? Cannot afford uh, is uh, when you don't have enough money. Yes. Good of you. Bring home. Dmitry? Bring home is uh, the money that you earn and then that you keep and bring to your home after your work. Yes, the money that you earn, exactly. Give back, Mary? Uh, give back to earn from work. Yes, good. To donate, Yuri? Give yes, away. Right. Charity? Oksana? Charity. Charity? When person decided to help somebody. To donate, right? And charity, good. Headline news, Mary. Oh, oh, headline, headline news. A story that's popular in the media. Popular stories, good. Well done. Now vocabulary review uh, exercise. You have to fill into the gaps. We've got the words in the box. Uh, have you found them? Sponsorship, appearance fee, cannot afford, bring home, give back, charity, and headline news. Have you found the, the box? Yes. Okay. So, sentence number one. Oksana, you're welcome. Did you say about the hockey players strike? Uh, it was on the um, on the headline news. Exactly. Well done. Thank you, Yuri. You're welcome. Number two. Stop. Some of the school children uh, can afford to go to the basketball game. Good, well done. Number three, uh, Dmitry. 
Tiger Woods receives um, one moment appearance fee just for attending the tournament. Good. Tournament. 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 Okay. Number four. Uh, Evgeny. Popular athletes. Athletes. Uh, athletes. Often get um, sponsorship deals that are higher than their salaries. Mary, the last one, number five. Uh, the coach believes uh, it is important to give back to the company. Okay. Mm -hmm. No? To give back. Yes. yes. To give back. Good. Well done. And the next exercise, choose the word that best describes the highlighted word in the sentence. Oksana, you're welcome, number one. The hockey player donated the jerseys. Jerseys? Jerseys to a public school. This is way. Okay, in this case. But what is jerseys? Jerseys, Yuri, do you know the translation of this word? No. Okay, who can help? Who knows the translation? Maybe a football color. T shirt, t shirts to a public school. So donate, uh, removed, paid for, gave away, or purchased. What do you choose? Paid for. Paid for, are you sure? Gave away. Gave away. This is C. Gave away. Donate to give away. Number two. Mary, you're welcome. We asked a few celebrities uh, to come, celebrities mm -hmm. to, come uh, to the uh, charity events. Event. Fam event. event. Uh, famous people. Famous people. Good. You're right. Uh, next one. Evgeny. Amateur. Amateur. Uh, Amateur players. Players don't bring home much money. But they still love their sports. Mm. Bring home. I see. Earn, earn. earn. Okay, exactly. Yuri number four. Some athletes care about winning, while others care more about uh, popularity. Popularity. Good. Number five. Uh, uh, well, Oksana. The picture salary was now fifteen million dollars this year. Mm -hmm. Salary, okay. yearly income, okay, donation, goal, or winnings. What's the correct meaning of this word? Salary. Maybe goal or yearly income. Yearly income. The stress is on the first syllable. You have to remember it. Income, income, okay. Yearly income. Income. Well done. And discussion questions. Question number one. Why do professional athletes earn so much money? Michael, what's your point of view? Because uh, a lot of uh, companies try to uh, make advertisements. Advertisements? Yes. Okay. Um, Dmitry, do you agree with Michael? Yeah, it's uh, one of the points, but uh, this Second one is uh, because only this athletes take part in all t tournaments and uh, all uh, and is paid much more than all other because everybody want to see them and not other athletes. I understand. And, and pay for this. Maybe. Uh, yes. It's uh, the competition all over the world and different sponsors give money. To get this athlete more popular. Exactly, you're right. And and the next question, Mary, it is for you. Which sport should have the highest paid athletes? Why? Uh, I think it's football. football. Uh, yes, <laughs> because. Uh, I think so. Uh, because um, uh, it sports has many uh, very famous sponsors, the company who uh, give money. Okay. Mm -hmm. You can agree with Mary that football is uh, should be the highest paid uh, type of sport, kind of sport. Mm. Uh, I think. Uh, 
Box may box. one of the highest Boxing. paid athletes. Mm -hmm. Boxing, Oksana, do you agree? What's your point of view? What I is the most dangerous I sport? I think, yeah, maybe it's uh, football or maybe it's uh, Formula, the first, no. Mm -hmm. And in America, it may be uh, baseball or basketball. Baseball, baseball or basketball. Or basketball. Basketball. Yeah. Yes, exactly. So, uh, they are um, the most popular sports. Okay. Yeah, we do you agree? What's your I point think, of view? I think uh, the highest speeding. The, especially Formula One, mm -hmm. maybe tennis players, I think, and uh, rugby. Rugby sport. Okay. Okay. Dmitry, what do you think? I, I think that in each kind of sport, which is rather popular in the world or in one or another country, uh, the athletes which are on the top on this kind of sport uh, receive higher um, salaries and a lot of money from all as advertising and uh, appearance fees. Yes, okay. Another question. What is the best way for a professional athlete to give back to his or her community? Yuri, you're welcome. Number three. What is the best way for a professional athlete to give back to his or her community? I don't know. You don't know who can help? Mitri, Evgeny, Michael, what's your point of view? What are your I think, ideas? I think athlete may uh, uh, support uh, their communities with money, right? Support their communities with uh, social pages like Facebook, mm -hmm. or Twitter. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Mary, Mary. You... Yes? Maybe it's good to donate some money to different kinds of uh, sport clubs or uh, sport uh, schools in their region. Yes, or hospitals. Yeah, hospitals to develop. Yes. Do you often buy products that are promoted by celebrities? Mary? Uh, I know. I'm not. I'm <laughs> not buy products. So you're not a victim of an advertisement, right? Yes. Oksana, what about you? Do you agree with Mary? Or do you sometimes buy the products that are promoted by celebrities? Uh, yeah, a lot of products we buy. Because, um, what are they? Pop popular products, uh, all popular products um, promoted for us celebrities. <laughs> and for sports products and food and... And different others. Yeah. And some others, right? Good. Thank you for your answers, and I'd like you to uh, have some more answers for the questions. So, how important is money in your life, uh, Mary? Is it really important for you, or not so very important? Mm, I don't know. It's not really important, but I, I think uh, it's a need for everyone, because if we don't have money, uh, we can't buy meal so it's necessary for for life mm -hmm. okay you can but i i can uh, i can say one story once we uh, want to try uh, live without money and we uh, go in the mountains quarry mountains and uh, uh, don't give anything we uh, eat uh, uh, eat uh, grass and mushrooms. Uh, maybe three days uh, after that, uh, we go <laughs> in the shop and went, uh, went, we went to the shop. We went to the shop and bought bought mm -hmm. uh, some bread and uh, <laughs> some stuff because it's very sad uh, and after that we go to the coast co in, to the sea, sea. Mm -hmm. and uh, some people give uh, 
gave us water of um, uh, somebody <laughs> uh, give uh, give wood food because wood. we don't have uh, fire didn't have a wood okay to make a fire right yes mm -hmm. it's very, very funny story we go three weeks we went three we weeks went for three weeks okay, okay. we uh, to spent, uh, spent maybe one one uh, hundred grivnas for mm -hmm. this day. So it was a challenging experience for you, wasn't it? Yes, it, <laughs> it's good experience. Good experience. <laughs> okay. I, I read the story about the old woman that she wouldn't buy anything. She only walk and she uh, she eat only that uh, eating only that uh, need to wear. She walks, uh, the people give your meat. I understand. So, such a story, okay. Uh, so, uh, Evgeny, do you think, do you really think that uh, money makes the world go around? Mm, yes, uh, because uh, with money, I, I need money for pay my room, for example. Uh, if I have money, I can afford uh, vacation mm -hmm. and uh, some other um, benefits. Yes, I agree with you completely. So, uh, Oksana, do you think, do you really think that money gives freedom or it's not so? It's not the idea. Yes, yes. I agree. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Good, good. Uh, another question. Uh, what is the the most expensive thing that you bought in your life, Mary? Mm, most expensive? I think it's fridge. A fridge, refrigerator, yes. right? Yes. <laughs> how much? How much did it cost? What it was the price? Cost, uh, Seventeen thousand rubles. Am I right? Uh, what? In what currency was it? What, uh, what currency? Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, seventeen thousand. I understand. Yes. Okay. Uh, well, uh, what about you, Evgeny? Did you also buy a refrigerator, or was it a different thing? Mm. The most expensive one that you bought in your life? Uh, it was computer. Computer. How much did it cost? Uh, what was the price? Uh, it cost uh, uh, sixteen thousand grivnas. 16,000 greenness, I see. Everybody about you? Yes, for me it's computer, but it costs uh, 800 greenness. 800? I bought it, I bought it uh, this, uh, this summer. This summer? <laughs> it's rather expensive. Yes, very expensive. <laughs> I understand. Dmitry, what about you? How much money did you spend for the most expensive thing in your life? Mm, I think the most expensive it was a car, but <laughs> it was bought for a loan in the bank. So I am begging for this. <laughs> mm -hmm. So it was a car, mm -hmm. and yes, you took a loan not in the bank. Last year. Mm -hmm, I understand. Uh, okay. Do you still do you still have this car? Do you keep it, yeah, or have, have you sold it? And, uh, no, I have it, and I am working for it. <laughs> Do you have to? Do you still have to pay the credit? Yeah, I, I took a loan for the bank for to buy this car, and so <laughs> now every day and uh, every every time from my salary every month, I should to pay for this should car. Pay, should pay. Should pay. Should for pay. This car. I understand. So, did you take a loan in dollars or in hryvnias? In hryvnias. So it is much better than in dollars because if it were in dollars, it yeah. was a it would be a catastrophe, right? Yes, but I think that if, if, if you have no income in dollars, it's, it is not even even not possible. good. It's, it not, it's impossible to take on in, in dollars. Yes, nowadays it's really very hard about it. What about you, Michael? Uh, what thing did you buy? What was the most expensive thing? Do you I have, have do you still have it? Expensive, uh, uh, a car, a refrigerator, or a computer? 
I, I, I tried to buy cheaper products. Cheaper things. I, I don't remember what what was the most expensive. Mm -hmm. It's like a, a middle level or, or, or the product. Mm -hmm. Maybe computer. <clears throat> Sometimes people say that uh, we are not so uh, rich to buy uh, the cheap things. <laughs> Do you think that it is a good idea or not? Do you agree? It, uh, Sometimes it is uh, better to, to buy something more expensive than something cheap. It's a good expression, but uh, <laughs> sometimes you, you uh, need to, uh, to to choose something else. <laughs> something else. Yeah. So, uh, if you had a chance to choose between two things, one is cheap and you need it now, and the other is uh, expensive and uh, it, it will uh, work for a long time for you, so what would you choose? The cheap one or I the expensive? It's hard to say. I can choose the both variants. Both variants. <laughs> yes. Is it possible? Yes, of course. If you, maybe if you talk about the phone, you can have a two phone. Mm -hmm. So, for example, a phone. What kind of phone would you like to buy? If you had a chance. I prefer to have two. <laughs> you already got two of them. Hmm. Yeah, so you are lucky. You must be I very lucky. More than two <laughs> phone. More than two. Because I, I don't uh, like to sell it uh, when it's um, study wired, when it's... Um, when they go become older. Become older, yes. Okay. Or outdated. There is another one word, outdated. They become outdated, right? No, not important, not uh, modern, outdated, or old-fashioned, or old-fashioned. Yeah. Um, Oksana, what about you? What was the thing that you bought and that was expensive and... Uh, do you still have it? It depends on uh, ratio between uh, price and quality. Quality. Mm -hmm. uh, quality. Uh, because uh, uh, you can buy expensive car, expensive and uh, beautiful, mm -hmm. and uh, pay for this car for your life. Mm -hmm. Yes, I agree with you completely. So quality is very important because sometimes price may be uh, higher and uh, it can be expensive, but the quality may be poor, right? Yeah. But uh, sometimes uh, it's uh, quite an opposite case when we've got the product and uh, the price is not so very high, it's not so expensive, but uh, it is uh, okay in the quality, so you can really choose what you like more, right? And uh, what... Um what do you buy for this? What do you need it for? Yeah. What's the purpose of using it, right? Yeah. It is also very important. If you need it uh, not for a long time uh, or uh, some other period of time, you have to think about it also. Yeah. Right? Okay. Good. Uh, well, any ideas, uh, Yevgeny? Do you agree with Oksana? Mm. Uh, I will buy more expensive thing and uh, I will mm, more work for this, for this buying. You'll choose the, the more expensive one yes. to be sure that it is good, of a good quality and people think that if a uh, product is more expensive it must be of a better quality. Mm -hmm. Yes, so you agree with this uh, statement, right? You yes. Can Okay, I agree with you too. Thank you. Well done. And another question is, uh, uh, so uh, how much money do you need to be rich, Mary? Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I think, I don't know. It's not matter. It doesn't uh, matter. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. matter, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, I think uh, people... Uh, need money for for life but mm -hmm. uh, people can be rich in his mind so it's absolutely doesn't matter so uh, maybe it's the inner state of a person of being rich or it's the quality of uh, it's a quantity of money that you possess so what is it being rich uh, the state of a soul or the quantity of money that you you have mm. People have money. Uh, no, people have money uh, so much. Uh, uh, 
um, so much mm -hmm. they need that they need okay. every time mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, so I have uh, money how, uh, how many I need uh, and need. for for I need so for I the think things, for the things I need right? yes okay but some uh, sometimes there is uh, the situation that the person has sum of money and uh, after that he wants to have the bigger sum of money yeah. and uh, in some period of uh, time it's already not enough for him and uh, or for her and she or he wants to aff to be able to afford some more what should the person do in this situation is th is this an illness or uh, it's not what are your ideas uh, I think uh, people, if if somebody wants more money, uh, they person must work harder. <laughs> it, but if uh, he don't want, doesn't he want? must. He doesn't want. He must uh, spend <laughs> spend less. less. Spend less. Mm -hmm. I understand. Okay, so uh, sometimes people say that the quantity of money is in our brain. So, do you agree with this, Dmitry? Mm, yes, I agree. And uh, for your first question, I think uh, there is some joke uh, about this. The, the salary is good only for the first two months. After the second month, the salary is bad. Uh, so it depends on uh, the person, it depends on the level of life of this person and uh, the level of its, um, um, what he wants from this life. Uh, like a muscle pyramid, when uh, for the beginning the person needs something from just for live and then he needs some money for uh, to, to have a power or to have some luxury things and and so on. Mm -hmm. yes. So it, dep and, uh, it depends on the person and depends on the level of life or uh, where he or she wants to live in. In future, right? In, oh, in future, uh, or now. <laughs> or now, both variants are possible. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. exactly. Michael, do you agree with me, three? How much money do you need to be rich? It's hard to say. It depends on the, on the person. <laughs> okay. uh, for, for Masha, it's uh, okay to have a. Mm -hmm. So what well, would you do? <laughs> okay. But yes. for for uh, for another uh, for other uh, persons, it's maybe more. I understand. Uh, okay. What would you buy first if you won the lottery, Oksana? What would you buy first if you won the lottery? But if uh, I will, if I want a lottery, I will buy big um, travel trip for my family. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you didn't uh, you didn't work, yes. If you um, won the, the lottery, you uh, wouldn't work, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes, and you spend the money for the other purposes. Um, for purposes, um, for me, money uh, uh, n is needed for freedom, for uh, your interest in a hobby, and a lot of rich uh, people uh, don't feel uh, themselves rich. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, compare with uh, uh, their friends, they may be uh, not so rich, uh, so um, as they want. Mm -hmm. I understand. Uh, you are rich when you are satisfied. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if I won a lottery, I will. I would. I will travel with my family. Travel with your family. Yeah. Uh, so, um, all time, uh, while uh, around the world, where, where it could be possible for you to, to go. Money will enough. 
I understand. Well done. Thank you for your answers. Mary, what about you? What would you do if you won the lottery? I buy dollars. <laughs> You'd buy dollars. <laughs> I understand. Good. Mm -hmm. Good, Evgeny, you do agree with Mary. Would you also buy dollars or maybe another kind of currency? Um, I will buy uh, a flat. A flat. A flat, uh, maybe in another city. Good investment. Yuri, what about you? Maybe some money I spend on building a big house. Mm -hmm. And another oh, I give yes. the people which I need for okay. money. Good idea. Well, Dmitry, what's your point of view? I think uh, the, the most uh, part of money I will invest in my own business. Mm -hmm. And uh, for the rest one, I'll try to buy something for me and for my family. Okay. Do you have your business now? What business no. are you in? No, I, no, I have no my own business, uh, mm -hmm. uh, but I want uh, to go in for it. and. Uh, to start it, yes, and uh, so it will be good uh, starting capital, starting money for this business. Yes, actually it is very good uh, investment. Good idea, well, I agree completely. Uh, Michael, what about you? Uh, I agree more with Oksana. We need to spend this money, if, if it's a lot of money, uh, for our relatives family. Yes. Maybe it's travel or something like that. I understand. Well, I agree. So, which jobs pays the best salary? What do you think? What's your opinion, Oksana? Which jobs? Mm -hmm. Which jobs? Where can we get the best salaries? Yeah. Yeah. Magnat, maybe. <laughs> maybe president of. Uh, Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, uh, Mary, you, what do you uh, think? Owner, owner, some big corporation. Owner. Owners of a business. Profession. But the uh, question okay. about the uh, profession or uh, the uh, profession, profession. Maybe the the people who are architectures. Architectures. Or, or mm -hmm. IT, uh, IT engineering. I don't know. IT engineers. Mm -hmm. Maybe, yes, Evgeny, do you agree the with your point of view? People who work at... Uh, work, who work. Work in... In, uh, in direction. In direction where to make some uh, cosmos... Space, 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 space. space. Mm -hmm. Exploration. Apparatus. Space exploration. Exploration. Right, okay, in these spheres. Okay, Evgeny, what's your point of view? Do you agree with Yuri? What, do, what are the professions or jobs that uh, pay the best, the highest salaries? Uh, I think uh, deputies have a Deputies. <laughs> it is English word, no. deputies. Yes, you are wrong. <laughs> they are best paid in, in Ukraine and Russia, maybe. Mm. Well, I'm really sorry about it, but sometimes it's, but in Russia, it's it our is. reality. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay, yes. But they, yes, they don't pay it, they earn. Yes, exactly, they earn it. You're right. <laughs> uh, which countries are the most expensive to live in? Yuri? Maybe food, maybe uh, Emirates. Yes. Yeah. Emirates? Mm -hmm. Maybe Singapore or, or not, Japan maybe. Japan, okay, what Maybe other Ireland. other ideas? Iceland. Good. So what is uh, the minimum wage in your country, in uh, Ukraine and in Russia? What do you think the minimum wage? Wage? Mm -hmm. Wage. Yes, this is the sum of money the person earns per month. So salary is per year, right? And wage is the sum of money that is earned per month, right? How about this spell? Wage. Oksana, do you know? Minimum salary. Yes, minimum. What is the minimum wage that Ukrainian people or Russian people earn? 
Do you know it? Who knows? Who can help? Dmitry, Yuri, Evgeny? In Russia, in Russia it may be uh, in uh, old ages, uh, old uh, people earned yeah, minimum salary. Not salary, I don't know. Age. Mm -hmm. Oksana, uh, could you write in, in the chat this word? Yes. I think it's 1,300. Uh, 300 grimnias. Grimnias, yes. And yes. Wage. Wage. Minimum wage. Minimum wage. Minimum wage. Mm -hmm. yes. Well, another question. Do you think Hollywood actors make too much money? Yuri? Maybe different they get salary. Some of them are more, some of them are low, not so high. Different yes. salary, mm -hmm. but okay. high salary. Good of you. Thank you. So we've had a good, a good uh, discussion today. Oksana, I'd like you to make a kind of a conclusion of today's class. What have you learned from today's class? What ideas do you remember? What points do you think are good? What have you found out in today's class? For me, uh, it's a lot of new words. I will uh, write them in my vocabulary. Yes. Uh, and uh, we'll repeat. revise them at home. Yes, good of you. Thank you. Well done. And Evgeny, what have you remembered from today's class? Uh, there are a lot of many words, new words. words to, new, lots of new words to learn. Okay. Dmitry, what about you? As for me, it was a good practice of uh, oral conversation. Yes, mm -hmm. and also I reminded a lot of words which is used in salaries and in, in financial or the private and financial sphere. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for coming and joining our discussion. I invite you to my future classes. And bye for now. If no questions, see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. Thank you for listening. You're welcome.